All right, guys, so um, apparently I'm going to have to insert the prior clip that I just recorded as a part one and make this a part two because I did not know I wasn't able to see until after recording, but the clip did end up cutting at around eight and a half minutes. And yeah, so the, the last little bit, which was basically the um, end of my collections, I didn't get any of that recorded. I think it stopped like right, right in the first one. So we're probably just going to run over all of it again and end it. Luckily, it was probably just like another two, three minutes what I said the collections would be. But we're going to do it anyway, because why not? Um, As you can see, like I just closed out the game less than five minutes ago and the cactus garden is already back to doing its thing so we're gonna switch that back out i would use the flower bed but i don't have time to water the flower bed to get it back the way i like it to look every time i put it back in there when i'm like displeased with how it is so we're just going to leave it as the cactus, and I guess we're going to have to consistently change it out. I'm sorry, I don't know what you were doing, Volcano, but sock, please. But, um, yeah, so we were in the collections. The bugs, I have everything but the dragonfly, I guess, as you, as you heard from the last video. Um, I was stuck missing the mantis and the scarab for the longest and eventually I had got the mantis but it didn't register in the game and so it booted it back out into back in, back in, back in the little virtual pool and said, yep, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for this one. For my minerals, I have all of them. I was very excited to get the, the digging certificate if you guys don't know. The digging is one of my favorite parts of the Virtual Families games. I'm really excited when I get the certificate so I can start my little journey of collecting. I finished all of the feathers. Now, it's easy to me personally to see when you have new collectibles on the ground. I can kind of see what's something I've had before and what's something I haven't had. But with the feathers, guys, I swear, like... They look different, but on the ground, a lot of the feathers look the same. It's like it would be some, and then like I would see a couple that I swore were new that I had never had before, but it turns out I already had it. So, yeah, the lost toys. <clears throat> now we can get into the story about this. I have all of my toys except the doll. Now, most of you should know the story on this. The doll is attached to the little ghost girl. That's who she's, that's that's the item that she's looking for. She's apparently going to continue to hunt the house until she, she finds her doll. A lot of people thought that the doll um, would pop up in the yard, much like every other collectible. But no, the doll is actually acquired by a game event called The Discovery. And I actually had this event happen, but unfortunately via virtual family glitches even though i love the game so so much i've been noticing so many bugs recently but um it didn't go through i had the event happen and it said that my little person was gonna place it on the shelf and when i checked the shelf there was no doll so that was that was upsetting that was really upsetting the photo pieces i finished it um i think a lot of people assumed that the like when you finish the picture, that would that would get the ghost girl out of the house. But a lot of us realize that no, when you finish the picture, she's still there. She's most definitely looking for a doll. Oh, um, yeah. I just I want to share a very like a slow moment that I had. So let's let's get in on this. So guys, originally when I had got the game and I was hearing all about this missing doll that she had, I was not thinking about the fact that, you know, the doll would be in the collections because I hadn't played Virtual Families 2 in so long. I ended up buying this doll from the store and sometimes she would come in and when she would pop up, you know, she pops up in random places, sometimes she'll be going through this or in the drawer, sometimes she'll be right at the bed. 
or it a toy. I noticed she likes to come near this toy a lot. But after I purchased this doll, she would pop up next to it. And I think it had got that because a lot of people had said that um it was it was probably what the doll was looking for. Not at all. But that was about it, guys. So I think I think we're we're good for right now. We're probably gonna wrap this video up and end it here because I got slightly distracted. But alright, that's it guys.